Now, WGEM Sports with Sports Director Tony Cornish Jr. Well, when Quincy Notre Dame played host to Quincy High on the diamond, the outcome wasn't a pretty one for the blue and white. That was, of course, earlier this month. Now, the blue and gold won the Crosstown Showdown matchup at 10th and Jackson 16 to 1 in just four innings on the 2nd of May. Now, the 27 to 1 Raiders found themselves rolling on a 24 game win streak as they face 12 and 13 QHS loses of four straight games. Once again, senior Blake Bunch of the Blue Devils looking to defend their home turf with a lot of heart and pride as they face QND for the second time this season. It was a pitching duel early on. This one this, this time is QND's Jake Schisler blowing that pitch by the batter for the first strike out of the game. He had four on the night. It was a great duel on the hill. In fact, Quincy's uh, Joe Schroeder, he came to play as well with a nice punch out there. Q&D would strike first in this game. Michael Stapapski muscles a fastball in the deep left. One run would score on the play. Raiders up by one. Blue Devils with their turn in offense now. Joe Schroeder pokes a blooper to the opposite field. One run would score. Game all tied at one all. Riley wouldn't stop there for the blue and white. That's Ty Hammers sending a dribbler up the middle. Another blue double runner would score on the play. QHS now leading two to one. Quincy High would hold on to that lead all the way to the top of the seventh inning. That's when the Raiders would start a two out rally in a storm that the blue and white could not hold back. Tell you what, when the smoke clears and the dust settles in this one, Q and D rallies to beat Quincy High four to three. Q and QHS falls to 12 and 14 on the season, while the Raiders improved to 28 and one. Q and D has now won 25 straight games. Quite a record indeed. Meanwhile, checking in on scores from another busy night on the diamond. Payson Seymour gets by North Green five to one. Southeastern 10 nine winners over Liberty. Jacksonville, meanwhile, gets by Pitchfield three to one. Softball action at Pitchfield and New Berlin. Franklin Waverly were going at it, but it's Pitchfield getting a 10 6 victory. Rushville Industry, meanwhile, was taking on Cuba Spoon River, and Rushville Industry gets the 6 0 shutout victory. Mercer County, 8 0 winners over West Hancock. Carrollton gets by Brown County 11 5. Triopia had a problem with Pleasant Hill. Pleasant Hill explodes in this game. 15 zip, they win in four innings of play. Meanwhile, across the river, Highland gets by Canton 5 3 on the baseball diamond. South Shelby losing to Salisbury 2 1. MMA, winners against Marion County. A little bit of a surprise there, 9 6. Hannibal falling against Ellsbury 9 8. They're now 15 16 on the season, talking about the Pirates. And Mark Twain losing against Louisiana tonight, 13 3 to final there. Meanwhile, in soccer action, Hannibal Lady Pirates lose against Hickman 2 1. Ashley Davis had one goal in that uh, setback. Meanwhile, let's check out scores in Lee County. That's right, in the Hawkeye State Fairfield and Keokuk, Lady Chiefs were going at it. Keokuk wins 3 2. Fort Madison, Lady Hounds are losing against Mount Pleasant 3 2 in boys' action. Fort Madison, no problems against Mount Pleasant. They win 11 2. Xander Wellman, three goals in that one, and that was a big win for them. They're now 14 2 on the season. Time for us to take a short break. Stay close.